NCIS Los Angeles took a break from the small screen as CBS used its time slot to air coverage of the Winter Olympics in Beijing. The police procedural has since returned and Agent G. Callan, played by Chris O'Donnell, is in need of some guidance as he struggles to deal with some new details from his past. This is operational psychologist Nate Getz's, Peter Cambor, cue to make a comeback in order to help his former colleague. Warning, this article contains spoilers from NCIS Los Angeles. Nate Getz hasn't been seen since season 8 of NCIS Los Angeles but he will be back in season 13's All the Little Things which airs on Sunday March 13, on CBS. Agent Callan discovered he was Subject 17, one of the many foster children of Hetty Langs, Linda Hunt, who went through cognitive tests and psychological screening to see if he could be the right fit for the job. The discovery of the file in Hetty's belongings hints she was running the program and may have known Callan longer than she had been letting on. As Callan continues to question his past, Psychologist Nate is brought in to help with the process. Coronation Street arrival for Daisy Midgley's family with new set? The synopsis for all the little things reads, Nate meets with Admiral Kilbride and learns about the CIA project from the 1970s and 1980s involving children. But how will Callan react when Nate tries to get inside his head and work through what he is feeling? Nate was originally introduced in NCIS Season 6, alongside some of the other original stars of NCIS Los Angeles. His job was to handle interrogations and perform psychological evaluations on the NCIS Office of Special Projects personnel, keeping an eye on their mental health. But Nate started to show interest in taking on a different job which led to his role being minimalized in the drama. Why did did Peter Cambor leave NCIS LA as Nate gets? Nate's dream was to become a field agent but the rest of the team felt he didn't have the necessary skills to succeed. Nevertheless, he pursued the career and received training in field craft and hand-to-hand -hand combat which he took part in during season 2. He was then assigned a top secret mission in the Middle East and so went from a main NCIS Los Angeles cast member to a recurring guest star, popping up from time to time. While actor Peter Cambor hasn't spoken about why he stepped down, it could have been so he could take on other roles elsewhere. Below Deck Boss teases dangerous spin-off in Norway. Deezer, NCIS, Gibbs replacement suspended as Parker's past exposed? Theory, NCIS star Sean Murray leaves fans gushing over rare family snap, reaction, during his time on NCIS Los Angeles, Cambor also starred in the legal drama Suits. He was Nathan Kruger, a lawyer and the head of the Eastside Legal Clinic in Queens, New York. In 2020, Cambor starred in the film American Terrorist but his biggest role to date has been in the comedy Grace and Frankie as Brianna's fiancé Barry. He has starred in all six series of the sitcom and will be back for season 7 on Netflix this year. This isn't the first time the CBS drama has tried to get Cambor to come back. Showrunner Scott Gemmel told TV Line last year, We almost brought him back, but, it didn't work out for various reasons. But we have talked about him coming back specifically this, season, because of what Callan is going through. But only time will tell if Nate is going to be returning to NCIS Los Angeles on a more regular basis. NCIS Los Angeles Season 13 continues every Sunday on CBS in America. A UK release date hasn't been announced.